Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Uh, this episode is going to be just a little bit of construction along with a uh, channel update since it's the first of the month. Uh, today is May 1st and I w just wanted to kind of let people know what's going on with my channel this month. Uh, so far I've been pretty pleased with the subscriptions and the likes and such I've been getting. Uh, getting It's growing, the channel's growing which is good news. Uh, I've only been at this for about two months now and I'm pretty pleased with where I am farther than I expected. Thank you all. Now, uh, as far as this month's new games go, I am going to be doing Brink. Uh, I think that comes out a week from Tuesday, and I'll be starting to record that on Tuesday. Uh, I was going to be doing Fear 3 as well, but they just pushed that back to June, so that will be for next month instead. Maybe I'll go ahead and play Fear 1 and 2 real quick beforehand, because I actually haven't played either one of those. But I do want to go ahead and check out Fear. Um... That's pretty much the main plan to new games that we have coming up. I do have Dragon Age is nearly done and Portal is nearly done. I think I'm going to be finishing both of those up today and they'll be posted probably no later than about Tuesday of this week. The endings of both of those games. I'll probably end up starting Dragon Age Origins up on the PC or Xbox. I haven't decided which one. I have it on both. It's kind of easier for me usually to record on... Uh, the Xbox just because the files are easier to work with for me the way that I record ironically the Xbox files are easier to deal with uh, I want to do some PlayStation gaming but of course as most of you know PlayStation Network has been down for more than a week now and uh, I'm not sure when that's gonna be all functional again haven't been able to log into my account some of my saved games were tied to my account and then things aren't working right basically over there I haven't really had the thing on at all since this nonsense all started. Um, that pretty much takes care of all of the new business so once this glass is done I'm gonna go ahead up there and we're gonna build the rest of the walls of the tower. I'm probably gonna need more than this four stacks of glass to get everything done up there but we'll see how it goes because I don't want to waste all my coal on this either. So I'll be back when that is finished cooking I'll meet you back up at the top of the tower. Alright, so I went ahead and picked up my glass. The Minecraft sun is setting in the west, but uh shouldn't really matter to us up here. I don't think any monsters are going to spawn all the way up here. It's what relatively lit up. I'm going to throw down just a couple more temporary torches here to make sure. I've been kind of ill the last couple of days, too, and uh, went to a hockey game last night. Uh, I live in Portland, Oregon, so I went and saw the Winter Hawks. They're in the, the playoffs for... Uh, the the Western Hockey League, part of the uh, Canadian Hockey League. They're a junior team, not a professional team. We don't have a professional hockey team here, unfortunately. But uh, it was game five, and they won, so they're leading 3-2 to two now. And uh, they have another game tomorrow, and uh, hopefully they'll win, and we can just knock off Spokane. Okay, let's see here. Get this glass up probably to four levels. But, uh, yeah, I kind of injured my voice a little bit more at that game last night. I probably shouldn't have gone when I was sick, but you know, it's playoff hockey season. What are you going to do? Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how I want this to look exactly. I think I'm going to have to put one here and one here to try to balance it out a little bit. Alright, and this is going to be our top layer of glass for here. I'm going to put stone around the whole top ring here. And then we can start bringing this inside to kind of meet in a sort of a dome thing. Sort of like that, how that's designed. I'm pretty much going to use the same design as the roof of the greenhouse. Uh, the reason there's these doorways here is because I'm going to put balconies all around the outside. I didn't like how the balcony looked down there, but I do want one. Because it's kind of nice being this high up. Get a good view of everything that's going on down there. Uh, we can probably see monsters down at the monster trap if there are any down there yeah it looks like there's a skeleton down there getting trapped and a sheep unfortunately the sheep don't really give you anything that's worth anything but uh, as you can see the trap works okay I need to go back to probably about there that way any monster that spawns down there will probably end up in the trap at some point but uh, it has been working pretty well I'm pleased. I've built those in other Minecraft maps that I've played previously, and I would get to the point where I'd get enough to make uh, 
the main thing I want is the gunpowder from the the creepers because I like TNT a lot for mining and uh, I would get to the point where I can make four or five TNT uh, pieces a day there so you just kind of leave the character down there oh, that's gonna hurt isn't it oh well I'll have to just take the fall damage uh, you know I, I, the four or five pieces is pretty good for TNT I just leave my character down there go away from keyboard for the night and you know, the Minecraft night, night not the real night and uh, come back and build some TNT We'll have to play around with some TNT later. I have enough to build a couple of pieces right now, but not really enough to do anything seriously fun yet. And actually, I think I want to make these out of this, the steps that I've been doing, because that would kind of make it look a little bit more even. So I think I have to go downstairs and get some steps. But we'll put these in the corners here first. And I might as well light it up, too. Shift uh, crouching is very useful at times like this. It's a long way to fall. Fortunately, there's water down there, so we can actually just jump and not get hurt as long as we land in the deep enough water. But it's a pain to have to walk all the way back up here. Okay, let's get this done. I need to get some dirt scaffolding down there and get some torches on the corner, on the uh, other corners of the tower lower down because not really lit up very well yet all right that's going to take care of this yeah that works out all right so i'm going to end up going down there and uh getting a bunch of steps and i'll be back in a minute all right and we're back again i went ahead and got those steps so do I have any dirt or no i don't have any dirt so we'll just have to use stone to jump up here it's kind of annoying because stone's a little bit harder to take back away but it's fine Okay, so how exactly am I going to manage this? Okay, I think uh, the center part needs to kind of curve in. And I guess this is as good a time to start it as any. So we'll go... Oh, this is going to be hard to place. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, that works. Let's use this side as a template to figure out. Oh no! <laughs> and I died. Did not land in the deep enough water. That sucks. And you can't really shift on the stairs because uh, shift doesn't work on the stairs. That totally sucks. This is going to be a long and dangerous construction process. Let's see if I can get my stuff back. It should just be right down here. I think I fell on this side, didn't I? see oh it's really dark down here but yep there's my stuff I see it I think that's every uh, no that's not everything some of this stuff kind of went flying pretty far here oh gonna get gonna drown oh made it oh more stuff man that really just exploded I thought too deep was far enough. You used to be able to fall in water too deep and you'd be fine. Huh. I wonder if your velocity actually affects that now because I did fall from really, really high. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go back through my little boat dock here, get back up there, and I guess I'll just edit this part out here. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back yet again. Hopefully this time I can be a little more careful and not fall down. Let's build myself a little step. There we go. So let's try and be a little more careful this time. Almost across, okay. This is going to be the most dangerous row anyway. As we get higher, there's more margin of error. Alright. So let's go here and here. that thusly oh and we're in the clouds hello creeper oh he just despawned and something's burning all right so this is working out I guess let's go see what this is gonna look like from in here probably just 
cut this whole thing right out. Uh, that'll be good enough. Okay, this is going to be my next part here. Head back on up. Right, and some super careful jumping. There we go. There we go. And so pretty much, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did before on the greenhouse, which is this one goes flat. Oh, now my stairs aren't going to work. Oh, well. And then we're going to go up another level. On both sides here. And fill in another layer of glass. And I'm just going to keep going on up until I meet. And then we'll have to repeat this on the other corners as well. But it's pretty simple construction. And from a distance, I think it looks pretty good. That roof looks all right to me. It works. And I totally messed that up, didn't I? I did. How did I mess that up? Oh, I see what I did. I forgot the stairs. Stairs go there. And then we go like this. So let's go fix this side real quick. Alright, we are getting towards the top here. I don't know how long this is going to take for them to meet. Maybe I should... Huh. I probably have enough glass for this part at least. Alrighty. Oh yeah, we're there practically. It's amazing how much, uh, how quickly things fill in when they start getting these closer levels. Use a lot less stone for each layer. Oh, damn it. Seriously? I think I need to get myself a new mouse here sometime. It, the right mouse button is kind of wearing out, I think. You get a lot of accidental double clicking. How big is the gap here in the middle now? So I would like to leave. I think if we do this. We'll be in good shape, actually. Yeah, that ought to work. And then this glass here. Put a bunch of torches up here just for effect. I think that roof situation is going to work out nicely. Is this water deep? I'm going to try jumping again. Hooah! Okay, we went in the super deep part that time and we're alright, so I think you need more than two, two uh, deep water now to survive if you're going from really high. So I want to try to find somewhere where I can actually see the roof of that thing, see how that worked out for me. Probably go up to the roof of the greenhouse, that's probably high enough. The reason this yard's uneven is just because I haven't finished that part yet. I will get to it. Up through here. And let's see how that's looking. Well, kind of weird, I guess. But you know what? I think it's going to do. So, in the next episode, hopefully I'll have made a little bit more progress on that roof. We'll have that done. We can take care of building the porch. Well, I guess it's more of a balcony than a porch, but you know what I mean. We'll take care of building that, and I'm going to have to go get some redstone at some point, too. I know there's redstone in that cave that I died in a bunch of times over there. Oh, there goes the piggy. Let's see if we can go see him burn. I don't think I'm going to make it in time, though. Where is he? Oh, piggy. Come on, piggy. Oh, there he goes. So we probably just dropped a cooked pork chop. That's that's nice that that works that way now. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.